Hey foodies, thanks for watching. I'm gonna show you how to make a maple crepe cake. It's so yummy and it's actually really quite simple. And we've got some pretty simple ingredients. I'm sure you've got them around the house. And I'm using today Frankie's all-purpose flour. It's a gluten-free all-purpose flour blend and I love this stuff. And we're gonna start by first mixing up our crepe batter. So we're gonna put our water in, sorry, our flour in, salt, and this is all the sugar we're using, sugar, our oil, our milk, and it looks like a lot of milk, but when you're making crepes, it needs to be extra wet. And then it calls for six eggs. So I'm gonna crack a few eggs in here, fish out any shells and things that I might have gotten into it, and then pour it in. Okay, so there's three, four, five, six, and that goes in there. And now we're just gonna whisk this up. Oops. You'll notice I'm not using my, my KitchenAid or a hand mixer. I'm just doing this by hand because it really is quite simple just to use a regular whisk. You wanna get all the, the spots, make sure you get all the flour. And you wanna whisk out any lumps. Okay, so I'm gonna set this aside and we're gonna get going on the maple pastry cream. So for maple pastry cream, we're gonna to need to use the stove and we're gonna heat up the milk and half of the maple syrup. And while that's heating, I'm gonna crack in three eggs. There we go. And my flour. And I'm gonna whisk this all in. Okay, I'm gonna pour in the rest of my maple syrup. Oh, I love that stuff. And I'm gonna leave that until the very end. Okay, so you can see it's boiling here, that's great. I'm gonna turn it down. So now, I want to do what's called tempering, and I want to temper the eggs. I want to bring them up a little bit in temperature so that I don't get scrambled eggs. So I'm going to pour a little bit of the hot milk and whisk, just to warm them up a little bit. Okay, so they've warmed up plenty. And I'm gonna pour it back in, and I'm gonna whisk it up again. And I'm gonna put this back on the heat, and I'm gonna keep stirring it for about two minutes until it thickens. So we're gonna bring it up to a boil, and once it comes to a boil, I'm gonna turn it down low, and we'll watch it thicken. Okay, so it's already starting to thicken up. You can see it's boiling here. So I'm gonna turn it down to medium low heat and I'm gonna stir it. Mm. 
And look at how thick this is getting. Okay, look at that. Oh my goodness, it looks beautiful. So I'm going to take it off the heat. We're going to stir in the vanilla. Oh, it smells amazing. Mmm. Oh, the maple and the vanilla. It smells lovely. Now, the next step, you want to strain the custard, or the pastry cream, I should say, to remove any lumps. And that's if you had any bits of egg that formed, or any bits of flour that didn't break down, anything like that. You just want to have a nice, smooth consistency. So we just spread it out, and I can already see a few lumps here and there. There we go. Look at that. Not too much on the surface, just a little bit. That's pretty good, but I know that this is all smooth underneath. Oh, that looks good enough to eat already. So I'm going to cover this with plastic wrap. And you want to make sure that it touches the surface so it doesn't create a skin. I'm going to set this aside for a few minutes and then when it's cool enough to touch, I'm going to put it in the fridge until it's nice and cold. And while it's chilling, we're going to make some crepes. So I'm heating up my skillet. You can use a large pan, whatever it is, it needs to be flat. And we're going to make about 24 large 9-inch crepes. So we're going to put the first one on, and I find for me a scoop and a little bit makes the perfect size crepe. Look at that. And I'm going to put the second one on. see all the bubbles coming up it looks really nice so we're gonna pick it up and we're gonna flip it I'm gonna do the same thing with the other one that one's a little messier okay so that one's done look at that first crate it looks beautiful so I'll just Second one's done. So I'm going to go ahead and make the rest of the crepes. And when we come back, everything's going to be cool and we're going to put it all together and we're going to give it a try. See you in a moment. This pastry cream looks wonderful. Oh, it smells good too. Okay, so it's been a few hours and I've got all my crepes done. Now it's time to put everything together and I'm really excited about that. Okay, so I'm gonna move that little one aside and we're gonna start by placing one crepe down and we get a little bit of pastry cream, about a tablespoon or two. And you want to spread it out over each. Each crepe. There we go. Look at that. Okay, so now we repeat the process. A tablespoon or two. And just keep going. And we want to put the pastry cream on on each layer of crepe 
and use up all the crepes and all the pastry cream. So whichever comes first, but hopefully it ends at the same time. Look at this. This is amazing looking. It's so tall. Oh my goodness. And I'm putting the last of the, the pastry cream just on top because I thought I don't want to waste it. So let's, uh, let's use it up and just enjoy. Oh, this looks delightful. I mean, it's just beautiful. Look at that. It's just gorgeous. So at this point, you're going to want to put it in the fridge, let it set up for a few hours, and then we're going to slice into it. But I'm too excited. I really want to dig into it. I can't wait. So I'm going to pull a couple things out of the fridge, and we're going to slice into this. Now, I managed to make a little bit of maple whipped cream. So it's just whipped cream with a bit of maple syrup in it to sweeten it up. And I just thought, why not? It looks good. And let's take a slice out of this. Oh, wow. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Look at the layers on that. It's beautiful. Oh, it's going to tip over. That's okay. I'm happy. I'm happy with it tipped over. Look at the layers. Oh, it's beautiful. So I'm going to add a nice big dollop of whipped cream on there. At which point you can also drizzle maple syrup on it. And I thought, why not? So let's give this a try and see what we've got here. Mm. This is so decadent, oh my goodness. It is so yummy. It's, it's sort of like eating an elegant version of like 20 pancakes all at once. It's so awesome. Have you ever made a crepe, a crepe cake? I look forward to reading all of your comments. Thanks for watching. See you again soon. Bye-bye.